spoken to Kia Kamalai, Tamil Nadu BJP chief, as he hit out at the DMK and its leadership, alleging widespread corruption under their regime. He also said that Padayatra aims to expose the Stalin Sarkar. Let's listen in. You know, the Yatra is successful with the kind of crowds that we've seen yesterday when Home Minister Amit Shah was there. Uh, what is the objective of this Yatra? Madam, the objective of this Yatra, yen man yen makkal, as you will very well see, it is our Honorable PM Narendra Modi ji, who have given the utmost respect to our Tamil culture, to our Tamil language, to our Tamil population. This language, which is the oldest in the world, has got a recognition which nobody has given till now, till 2014. And secondly, as we can see, in the last nine years of Modi ji's government, Close to 10 lakh 76 thousand crore of worth of projects have entered into Tamil Nadu. All sections of people have got benefited. Tamil Nadu continues to have one of the highest amount of beneficiaries in the state. Continues to have even now under different classifications. So these are the main intention behind this yatra. With the spirit of positivity, go meet everybody. Thank them for their support to Honorable PM. Thank the beneficiaries for standing with Honorable PM. At the same time, we are also using this yatra called Yenman Yen Makkal to show how DMK is so alienated from the land of Tamils. Family politics, corruption, each day some issue against the minister, absolute misgovernance, looting that is happening at the ground level. So all of these things also the Yatra would be focusing. Somebody in Tamil Nadu has done Papa, in Tamil Pava, Pavam we say in Tamil. It is only the DMK which has done Papa and Pavam. I'll tell you why. This land where we are standing, standing in Rameshwaram, which has got the highest number of Tamil fishermen who venture out to the high seas. 2004 to 14 in UPA 1 and 2 had seen highest number of 85 fishermen killing. 85, 85. Now in the last nine years, you please show me one killing in the high sea. The fishermen believe their life and properties are absolutely protected by Modi ji. Now you have, you, have, you have created an enabling environment to kill, to 85 fishermen to get killed. Now who did Papa? Now, 2009-10, when the Sri Lankan war was at its peak, when a civilization was getting wiped out, 1,64,000 Tamils got killed. Who are at power at the center? For all the 1,64,000 souls, who is going to give answer? Who is going to respond to them? It is again the DMK which has done Papa and the power. More importantly, recently 22 people died because of illicit liquor. 22 women have lost their husband, the sole breadwinner. Again, it is the Papa of DMK. And not only that, crores of money when they loot, that money which is supposed to go to a poor person is going to a DMK's first family. Again, you're doing Papa. Submitted DMK files part two. Can you elaborate on that? Because, uh, Madam, you know, the list of uh, people that you've highlighted in that uh, second list. Madam, the part one intention was to educate, make it aware for our Tamil Nadu friends, brothers and sisters that look, corruption and looting is of this level. The aim of part two is very specific because we are after six ministers and their uh, binami is numbering into a couple of hundreds. And we have released three scams which we wanted action to be taken, not in the public discourse. That is why we have specifically presented to governor with evidence and also our team will give it to DVAC.